So this is small video showing the medial parapetal uh, subvostus approach or cortices sparing approach. So first is that mark the incision from the superior patella to the tibial tuberosity. Uh, plain, make the medial lateral dissections. So mark the insertion of the subvastus muscles. <coughs> then ligate the in so inferior genicular artery, medial genicular artery. Oblique incision made just distal to the vastus medialis insertion beginning posteriorly at the level of the intermuscular septums. Sinual capsular attachment to the undersurface of the cordyceps tendon are released from the medial and lateral. Just some fibrous attachment superiorly is released from the vastus medialis. So in the flexion it is difficult to revert the patella so we have to extend it and then flex it. So here is the knee in front of you. Why? Without disturbing your cortices, you are directly on your knee joints. So after this is a femur, a distal femur cut. So my one question to Linga is, sir, do you recommend subvastus in severe rigid virus? Yeah, all I, I do nowadays all knees by subvastus approach. All knees by subvastus approach. Any practical difficulty in that? In steep knee or muscular patient try to difficult to evert the patella and in uh, enclosed knee or there is difficult to do the subvastus approach. Otherwise all knees I do by subvastus approach. <coughs> And non-correctable valgus cases? Even I, in valgus case, I had done, uh, two days back I done by subvastus approach. In female patient, I think it is very easy to do by subvastus approach, but in male patient, it is difficult to do by subvastus approach. So, any practical tip for the PGs or uh, newcomers for that subvastus, taking subvastus approach? Uh, what is the uh, curve, learning curve for that? Some learning curve is there, uh, you have to assist for minimum 5 to 6 months then you are able to learn the things by doing a subvastus approach. Uh, advantage of the subvastus approach that is a very uh, good one for the post-op rehabilitation and function of the patients and compliance of the patients. So See the patella tracking without anything you are getting a good patella tracking. Huh? Full flexion, yeah. restore the back to the quadricep mechanism. Excellent. Excellent live recorded demo. So, any change in post op physio protocol? This is day one post op. Patient yeah. doing a 90 degree of flexion and full extension. That's why I'm asking. Any post op bed is there protocol? Is bed. So, doing full 90 degree of flexion and full extension without any uh, much analgesic post op yeah. one one last question sir do you end up in some time at least in early days in some complications of taking subvastus 
Any complications? Uh, one complication was there. I uh, was the tendon once in the uh, one, one, one case only. Tendon injury. Oh, okay. 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 So, it was a very nice demonstration. Thank you so much, Lingayat sir. So uh, we are moving to the next live case. Uh, uh, Abhishek is ready. I have done tham dara don't meet. So we have conducted series of patients in the 50 patients. We have conducted by Omax score and everything. I just show on some examples of this. So this is Omax score preoperative was 71. Being a head of the institute, I will take little time from the couple with his permission. I will another 10 minutes will permit him. Sir, patient is open. We can take yes, it afterwards, sir. Yes, only 10 minutes. I will finish it. Sir, please, in short, please, five minutes, sir. So, this is a intro photo of the same patient. For teacher to take a lecture, he required minimum one hour or one and a half hours. So, it is difficult to do. So, this is post-op x-ray of the same patient. This is a patient doing excellent functions at the in the ward. This is working on day four. This is another patient, 70 year female left knee osteoarthritis underwent total knee replacement. Pre op OMAX score was 80. 84. This is a post of day one. This is day three without drain. And this is day five climbing the chairs. This is 66 year female with a virus, severe virus deformity. We went through the subastra suppress only, OMAX score 82. This was post op x ray. This was pre op function of the patients. These are the intro photographs of the same patients. OMAX score 32 at 15 days follow up. It comes to 18 at 30 days follow up. And OMAX score 16 at the 9 month follow up. Sixty nine year male patients again virus knee. This is immediate post op X ray. This is walking on day one evening. This is day three climbing the stairs. And this is day seven descending the chairs. Excellent. This is another patient, day of OMAX score 33 at day 15. Severe steep knee, this is a steep knee, when by subvastus approach only, no flexion at all, uh, very minimum flexions. This is the intra quadriceps, intact quadriceps, and these are the functions.
I, we have done some uh, study in the JMC that we have followed 30 patients by doing a subvastus approach. Uh, we calculate the results by p-value and everything. Uh, why, what we result is that uh, excellent result in the post-op up to one year. And after one year, it is a depend upon your physiotherapy by medial parapetalar approach by subvastus approach. But within one year, the gold standard approach for TKR is the subvastus approach, I think, to get a post-op good functions. These are the reference values which are calculated and comparable with the literature available. And these are the minimum complications which are seen. One is a steep knee and another one is an infection which is comparable with the literature available. This is last video which is showing that patient is at 15 days follow up, climbing the stair and everything and uh, doing the excellent job with good knee range of movement that is 90 degree. In short, in subvastus or cordyceps wearing, we little require physiotherapy post-op. If patient compliance is good, very few cases we require the knee physiotherapy. Because what I heard in some uh, my patient, post-op patients, they went to some physiotherapist, they say that why you have done this TKR surgery, I will treat you without doing the TKR surgery also. This is the sentence which are given by the physiotherapist there. So be, after that sentence, I learned that something has to be do without sending the patient to the physiotherapist. We should manage with in house that the patient would get get a 90 degree of flexion at our in house, and with due follow up, he should get a 120 degree of flexion. So this is our target, and we achieve that. Thank you for your patience. Thank you.